Welcome to another video tutorial from 2DGameArtGuru.com. Today I'm working in version 2 of Affinity Designer to show you a little bit more about the Shape Builder tool. For this video I created 10 artboards with unique designs rather than the previous video which was very generic and you could create your own designs with these pretty much have one main solution. I like to think of them as little puzzle games where you find the design in the overlapping shapes and lines. Rather than just create one shape out of this grid, I usually have two or three shapes that combine the final design. To me, that's one of the main advantages in Affinity Designer, the fact that your grid remains intact. These grids are made up of straight lines and simple shapes, and the designs get more complex as you go along. I hope this playful approach helps you understand the tool a little better and enables you to create your own designs from scratch. Rather than work on this page with all the designs, I select one artboard, copy it and create a new document from the clipboard. Here we have a basic dolphin. The design is in one group. It shows you the result of what you can create and the group below has all the shapes you need to work with. You can either just select the group or select all and then use the shape builder tool and in this case I have the marquee on which allows me to select shapes via a box. The alternatives are freehand and line. If I choose the freehand option I can draw over the shapes and they will be selected. Drawing over the shape twice will unselect it, so does a control and click on a shape. So it is fairly easy to select and unselect shapes. Rather than show you how to solve the dolphin, let's take a different design that is not included in the file and go through the process. Here I have a basic cactus with two flowers. And rather than work with all the shapes, I just hide the ones I won't need at the moment. So I turn the flowers off in the layer panel and select everything else. And using the shape builder tool, I then select the shapes I want to combine. Once I have all my elements selected, I use the create a new shape from selected area and it creates a new vector curve on top of my grid. This new curve reacts like any other vector shape. I can give it a gradient, I can give it a fill, I can give it a stroke or add effects. I change the gradient, give it a nice green gradient and hide that element in order to do the flowers. I unhide those and hide everything else. This makes it a lot easier to select. The more shapes you have on the screen, the more overlapping you have the more parts will be needed to select so just taking the flowers and hiding everything else will make it a lot easier to build just the flowers i select those use the shape builder tool and select pretty much everything so i use the marquee select those and make that a shape I then select just the inner shapes by just clicking on each of the shapes to select them to create an additional detail. And having all my shapes, I place the new shapes above the cactus I created earlier. I cannot color these shapes. I give the inner part a solid fill while the outer part will get a gradient. And then I set the inner shape to multiply to mix with the colors below. And here it is, the finished cactus. And even though I changed the colors of the flowers, I stayed within three curves to create the design. There is 10 of those for you to play with from simple to more complex. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think of this kind of exercise. If you like it, I will create some more. Please let me know what you liked or didn't like in the comments below. 
I will take your suggestions and work them into the next videos or into a next set of these kind of puzzle grids for the shape builder. In the meantime, try this one. It is on todigamerguru.gumroad.com. Put a zero in the amount you're willing to pay and it's yours for free. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification button, leave a like or a comment in the section below, and I will see you again soon.